So I've been asked lately, Kai, how would you turn around a company? And as I was explaining that to the person, I noticed that a lot of the things that I was talking about are directly applicable to our careers as well, if we want to use it for that purpose. There are plenty of people, actually more people than ever, who want to leave their jobs and change careers and do something completely different with their lives. And there are plenty of YouTube channels, including this one, who talk about career change and what it takes to get there. But then there are also those of us who think, I'm not ready to jump ship. Yes, I feel stuck, but I do like my career. How do I turn that around? And that is what we are talking about in this video today. The first thing I do when I want to turn around the business is fully understand all the things that I don't know. There are secrets, there are probably issues with people, there are hidden liabilities, and sometimes there are even hidden assets that nobody knows about. Analyzing all these factors helps me better understand the business, what it needs and what it takes to turn that business around. And all those things, they can apply to our careers as well. Are there criticism of yourself that you hear sometimes, even though they may seem completely unjustified to you? Years ago, I was known as somebody who is very direct and blunt, and I didn't take heed of that because I didn't think that was true. I didn't see myself as that. But I also forgot that I was raised in a country that is far more direct and far more blunt than the country I was now living in. So listen up and take heed of the things that people say about you, as harsh or as unjustified as they may appear, because you might learn something. The second thing I would ask myself is, what happens if I'm promoted today? That's a good problem to have, right? So maybe you take the job of your boss and you have no longer any role in the things that you're doing up to today. Is there anything that might fail? Are there processes that maybe only you know about and if you're no longer there, they wouldn't work properly? Are there things that you do that nobody else knows about? Those things are your hidden liabilities. And the third unknown is your hidden assets. And that really relates to your personality and your strengths. Now that we know all the things that we didn't know before, the next task of turning around the company is cleaning up the balance sheet. Here, you look at all the things that are not necessary. Maybe there are assets that no longer serve the company. Maybe you find accruals that you know will never materialize in the real world. And so this is about simplifying the balance sheet, making it clean and tidy so you have a better and clear picture of what your company looks like. And if you apply those same things to your career, it looks like this. If people say something about you that is true and may not be helpful for your career, go and change it. If people say something about you that you think is unjustified, work on the perceptions. If there are things that you think might fail when you get promoted, go and document them. Not some time in the future when you have time to do that, but now. And the third thing I would do is also ask, are there any hidden assets? Day-to-day -day life and the grind and the things that we have to do in our day-to-day -day work life, they all mean that we focus on tasks. They all mean that we focus on certain outcomes, but they don't ensure that we still play towards our strengths. And so rather than forgetting what these are, make sure that you reflect on them. Every two, three months or so, I go onto websites like 16personalities.com or truity.com and just do a personality test. And the results are never very different from what it was three months ago, but it helps me reflect on what my strengths are, what my personalities are. And it also helps me compare whether I use those strengths and personalities still in my day-to-day -day job. So if you have done number one and two in turning around your company, then you have at least stabilized it. And the final thing to do is increase sales because now you have identified what holds you back. So you need to invest in the areas that help you get back to profitability. In terms of your career, that sales equals self-promotion. And now you may say, hey, I don't want to be that phony. I don't want to be all words and no action. This isn't for me. And that's fair enough. And truly, if you are all words and no action at all, then yes, you're a charlatan. But also consider that if you are 
all action and no words at all, then you are called a martyr. And neither of those two work very well. So we have to come up to a fair balance between the work that we do and how we promote ourselves. And yes, there is a right and a wrong way to do about it. Things that don't work, for example, is let everybody know how great you are. But showing your achievements and showing what you were able to do and let other people come to their own judgment, that works very well. What doesn't work is taking center stage, hugging the credit and make sure that everybody knows that you are in charge. But taking other people's opinions into consideration and truly listen to them works. And then there is absolutely nothing wrong with saying that after you've listened to everything that you heard, you're making a certain decision. That's fair enough. And equally, what doesn't work is a shameless plug, like you should hit that like button. But what might work is if I explain to you that if you hit that like button, and you get value out of this video, then YouTube will show it to other people and so everybody wins. Maybe that works for you. And when you've done all of that, you are on a great path to turn your career around. And of course, we think that that also makes us happy. But those two things don't always go hand in hand. It's not always our work or what we do that makes us happy or unhappy. Sometimes it's something different. If you want to know what that something different is, watch the video that's on the screen right now. If that works for you, I will see you over there and otherwise in the next video. Take care.